I built a epiglottitis simulator with a duck bill. One of these old ventilator uh, pieces here. Maybe you guys recognize these if you work with that ventilator. Uh, I've got a mask on here, a piece of flex, and then I've got this, uh, essentially this duck bill right here. Things can go out of the duck bill, but they can't really readily come back in. But I'm going to try to breathe through that duck bill. Uh, I cut a little perforation there to make it kind of like uh, underneath the epiglottis where there actually is a little bit of room for it to come in. But what you'll notice is that when I try to breathe in, it collapses in on itself. And that's like what the epiglottis does. So let's take a look. Okay, I can't do that for very long, but uh, I should have cut a bigger hole in that, in that uh, duck bill there, but that's how it, it works. So things can escape the lungs with epiglottitis, but it's really hard for them to go back in because that's the direction, just like a duck bill, um, that's the direction that that epiglottis closes. So when it's big, it's swollen, it's inflamed, it's really easy for it to close in on itself and go like this. <laughs> 